When you're inserting an IV into the posterior side of a patient's forearm, you don't need to use two tourniquets because the degree to which their arm is bent acts as a tourniquet as well. I find that it's easiest to perform IV insertion on the same arm that you're dominant in. I am right-handed and this IV will be inserted on the patient's right forearm. Taking your left hand, use your thumb to pull the skin downward towards you to help tighten the skin. This will make the insertion much easier as the vein is less likely to roll. If you're afraid of popping the vein, I suggest initially inserting the needle under the skin, then gliding it toward and into the vein. Once you see the flashback of blood, continue the needle another one to two millimeters and then pull back your needle before you advance the catheter. If you have to, reposition your thumb again to tighten the skin. This will make it much easier to glide the catheter into the vein. These IV locations are great for patients with dementia because they're less likely to self-remove them due to the inability to see them compared to IVs in the hands and ACs. I decided to slow down this video and give very specific instructions on how to do this type of insertion because I get a lot of questions about IVs in the forearms. I love IVs here, mostly because these veins are rarely used and they are much less likely to be scarred up from frequent IV starts. They are also much bigger in diameter and straighter compared to other areas. The skin on this part of the arm is thicker than the skin of the inner forearm, so it is less painful for patients as well. And of course, you always want to assess for IV patency before you begin an infusion through the IV. This can be done by flushing with 10 mLs of normal saline.